ओके दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फॉर चेकिंग पैलेंड्रम रिवर्स एंड फाइंडिंग बॉवल फ्रॉम द इनपुट फ्रॉम द यूजर एंड दिस इज द क्वेश्चन एंड लेट्स हैव अ सॉल्यूशन फर्स्ट वी क्रिएट द क्लास ऑफ पैलेंड्रम रिवर्स प्रोग्राम जीयूआई व्हिच एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम जे फ्रेम एंड वी मेक अ कंस्ट्रक्टर ऑफ दिस क्लास एंड uh we define the <coughs> object of j label j text field j button or uh, two label for input level and uh, answer level and uh, two output field uh, two text field for one input text input field and one output field and three button for reverse uh, palindrome and showing vowel uh, three button and first we um, uh, use this input label uh, and write a label as input and string and uh, second uh, level uh, object is a uh, output and we use three in uh, two two uh, text field uh, one for uh, taking the input data and one for showing the data and we make uh, uh, output field is a uh, non editable because we want to show result in this output field and we have a three button and we may uh, and we uh, use this button and uh, write respective uh, label and then uh, we we use uh, we use this program in flow layout so we set layout for uh, with flow layout and we add all this component in this uh, frame in the frame and we pack that frame and now here come the um, event part on first we uh, uh, perform uh, reverse uh, for reverse uh, for reverse operation we use here uh, <coughs> listener uh, and uh, main uh main program is start from here first we use the reverse string as a empty and and we take the user input from uh, input field by using dot get text method and then we uh, we make a length uh, integer variable for total length of the input field and we use this uh, loop um, uh from last of the uh, last of the uh, string um, character uh, up to the first length and we uh, reverse this by doing this um, reverse string called reverse string plus a user input dot character 8i and we output this uh, uh, we set this reverse string to uh, output field which is our uh, component in gui and similarly for palindrome button uh, it is similar up to up to this position and uh, and we check if reverse string is equals to a user input if user input and reverse string are equal and we can say that the string is palindrome if not we can uh, we say that we can say that that um, string is not palindrome similarly for vowel button uh, we used listener we add listener here and in action perform we override this action perform method uh, and first uh, we first we um, use the uh, vowel character uh, uh, in this way similarly we take a user input from input field with dot get text method and we uh, get this total length and uh, we uh, we have this extracted vowel uh, area of character uh, with this length and this is the string with the vowel letters which we initialize as a uh, empty string and we use here two loop one for the user input uh, and one for vowel total length and we use here for loop uh, two times and if user input dot character it i equal to equal to vowel letter j j this is if user input it character i equal to this vowel letter uh, this uh, if that matches any of this the, that can be a vowel letter so we we use that we extract that vowel and we put that extracted vowel in this vowel letter string um, with a uh, parsing character uh, in string and we output that uh, with output that vowel letter in this output field uh, by set text uh, method uh, and uh, in main method we make the object of this uh, class and we set the uh, frame to be visible and we set the uh, frame size of 250 250 and this complete the program and let's have a demo here uh, we run the program on uh, this program here and input any string okay i want to check uh, mm, sure and let's check palindrome this is not palindrome okay reverse uh, this is reverse and find vowel 
vowel is I and O. Similarly, for letter L E V E L, this is a palindrom string. We know that check palindrom string is palindrom reverse. Uh, okay, label and find vowel and E E. Here are two vowels. Okay, this complete our programs.